let's meet our next guest. Swiss maestro Roger Federer has had one amazing career. From his early days as Switzerland's national junior champion to spending 302 weeks as the world's number one. The Fed has won Olympic gold, 17 grand slams and earned over $70 million for his efforts. Of course, there have been a few upsets along the way, including Sunday's loss in Brisbane to rival Leighton Hewitt. He's got it. Hewitt is the champion. But now in Melbourne with a new, wider racket, Rog is looking for his fifth Australian Open title. Please welcome Global Brand Ambassador for Mowat and Shandon, Roger Federer! Yeah. Uh, Roger, first things first, the important stuff. How many Mowats will you drink if you win the Australian Open? <laughs> A lot, I can tell you that. Uh, I'll, be very, I'll be very happy and I won't be alone, so it'll be a, a great night, but a long way to go. <laughs> now, there was no champagne after your match with Leighton Hewitt, but you, you're both, I think you're the same age, you're 32. Does it give you a lot of faith that you older blokes still have what it takes to mix it with the younger blokes in the Aussie Open? Yeah, I mean, look, our, our age group is doing really well still, and I'm so happy that uh, Leighton is still playing. Uh, he's um, been a, a big part of my tennis career, and we've played so many times, and it was a pleasure playing him last week in the Brisbane final. Unfortunately, I couldn't win, but I hope we both can play well at the Australian Open. And it seems like the young guys are not pushing us out of the game yet, or it's not gotten this physical yet that we, you know, have to just go. So we, we're still around. We're hanging on. And that's a good thing, Roger. But I also read that you've moved to a bigger racket. I've just taken up tennis lessons and the size of the racket that gave me is like a satellite dish. I thought that was because I was so bad. Surely you could play with like a table tennis paddle. Why the bigger racket? Well, I mean, I've played with a, pretty much the same racket that has had minor changes ever since 2002 and I've wanted to change rackets for some time just to see what's going to give me and it has given me more power. I was serving more aces in Brisbane and I feel like I'm really hitting the ball well. I'm missing less balls and now it's just a matter of putting hours on the racket and also just playing the matches because it's really only the matches where you'll see if it's going to be working. But I've always worked with Wilson very closely because they've been very innovative as well over the years and uh, I hope it's going to pay off and I hope it's, it's good for me. It's fun anyways, it's a new season and I'm, I'm willing to try out a few new things. Getting ready for the interview today, I drove everyone mad around the office insisting they all had to watch this clip of you and Rafa Nadal on YouTube. So Rafa, do you... <laughs> so Rafa... <laughs> okay. So Rafa... <laughs> Obviously, the two of you are great mates. What's it like being such good friends with someone that is also your nemesis at the same time? Um, it's a bit strange, you know, but I'm, I'm happy we get along well. Um, I, I prefer it that way than, you know, like you can't stand each other. So we always have a friendly chat to one another. I saw, again, Joe Wilfred Zonga today and Andy Murray. And, we're, you know, I'm, I really care about how they're doing. And I hope that they're doing well and nice seeing them back on tour after an injury. And with Rafa, you know, we go back a long way. We've done so much promotion, promotional work for tournaments and media together that we, we have a laugh together. And that one was... A very very particular, it was for a good cause, and we had to do this thing quickly for five minutes, and it ended up taking 45 minutes, <laughs> we were sweating bullets, because we couldn't control ourselves anymore eventually, and his accent in English was just classic, so I, I kept on looking at him, and couldn't help myself uh, to laugh all the time. Um, can I also ask you to settle a, a pub bet that I've got with one of my mates? Are you better at tennis than Tiger Woods is at golf? <laughs> Uh, well, he definitely plays more tennis than I play golf, so I'd say he's probably a better tennis player than I'm a golfer, unfortunately. Well, Roger, it's been a pleasure having you on. Congratulations, too. I understand you've got another little baby on the way. All the best for the Oz Open. We'll be watching. Great. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, have a good one. That's one ticked off the list. You need Boys to take a short of him. No, I just think he's marvellous. Carrie's going to have a lie down. <laughs>